Welcome back. As people prepare for Christmas holidays, A Merry Little Christmas is a theatre play and it's so hilarious because it seeks to inspire them for the big lunch plannings. The theatre play set on an unnamed golf estate somewhere in Johannesburg. Written by Greg Holman during the 2020 pandemic, the play promises to be the heartwarming holiday comedy that people need to end the year with. Its story, it's, uh, you know, it's about family, it's about love that will leave the audience smiling and cracking. Now, it'll open on theatre next week, showing at the Market Theatre. And joining us in studio this morning to tell us more, we are joined by actors Judy Ditchfield and Ilsa Klink. Ladies, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you. Nice Thank to you be very much. Here. It's an absolute pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Ilsa. Just uh, talk us through uh, your character and what attracted you to this role. Um, so I play a wonderful character that uh, has just arrived at this home to this new family, uh, future family in-laws. And, uh, you know, she's quite an open, verbose kind of, uh, doesn't uh, limit herself to who other people sh think she should be. You right. know, she drives a Harley motorbike, you know, yes. and uh, <clears throat> she's an astrologer and a, an accountant and a hugger. <laughs> and um, she, she's quite... Um, exuberant, as it were, you mm. know, with mm. her, that doesn't, nothing holds her back. So she's quite a fun character to play, and I, I really love doing theatre, and I, I would say that would be my huge attraction to the role itself as well. Right, right. You know, and she's really funny too. So do you see yourself in, in her? Yes, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay. I wish it was as brave as she is, right, and as right. honest as she is, mm, you know. Mm. So I do see a little bit of myself in there, um, you know, um, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, Judy, take us through your, your character. So I'm, I'm playing Evelyn Sharp, and mm -hmm. she's the sweet, kind, gentle. She's really delicious. She's the stepmom. Okay. So she's come into this family, and she's just trying to fit in. She wants everyone to love her. She, like man. she loves everybody. And she's, she's sweet. She's funny uh, and, and quite innocent. She, she misses a lot of the jokes. Mm. Everything goes over her head, Shame but she's man. delicious. <laughs> I love playing her. I'm loving her. You know, I always pity people who miss the joke. And then they ask a little later when the joke isn't funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly Evelyn. <laughs> you know, ladies, comedy plays uh, you know, require precise timing and delivery. So how do you approach the comedic elements and ensure that you deliver to the specifications of the script writers and ensure that it, uh, you know, it gets to the audience how you want it to get? I think it's a very interesting thing. So the script has been written really well. Yes. You know what I mean? And therein lies the essence of the comedy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And therein lies the essence. And I think that the, the cast, I mean, we have such a wonderful cast of people who are naturally funny. So, you know, there are technical aspects, but there are people that can really bring themselves into it and people who have got the experience of comedy. Mm -hmm. But if you do what is written on the page, I think that um, that's a huge part. And I think, Judy, you would be able to say more about comedy. She does so much. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, it's not an easy medium, actually, um, and it requires quite a lot of energy. Charmaine talks to us, Charmaine Westmith, the wonderful director. She talks about getting a level of energy into the into the words, mm. because if you mm. underplay things, you miss the comedy. So it's really about placing the feed lines, placing mm. the line, and then being truthful. Because I think the heart of comedy is authentic and, and real. When people start trying to be funny, it's never funny. Ish. It's never funny. So it's knowing it's funny in your head and then playing straight and being truthful to the lines and you will get the laughs. We laugh so much in rehearsals at the moment. Yeah. We are laughing a lot. And I'm telling you now, the audience is going to guffaw at times with laughter. It's very, very funny and delicious. And, 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 and I suppose you have to be as natural as possible. For sure. Yeah. 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 So how do you ladies then balance uh, the comedic aspects of the play with developing multidimensional characters? I, th I think, um, yeah, I think that goes back to the authenticity again. We are p trying to be real people in the comedy. Mm. So we've got emotions, we feel things, um, we do all, it's not just one level, you're not just yeah. going for the laugh. Um, for example, my character and the play 
is very heartfelt. So within the comedy, we look at bro quite broad issues, typical South African issues. Mm -hmm. So all the things we're going to recognize as South Africans at Christmas time, <laughs> we're going to see all of those things. But it also looks at how we approach different things. How do you see Christmas? How do I see Christmas? Oh, yes. And oh, also yes. looks at things in a really personal way and a heartfelt way. So you'll feel things. Don't just think you're going to laugh. You'll always have feel things, but in a lovely way. In a lovely way. Yeah. And I suppose you can also strike a personal resonance to the play. I mean, when it comes to Christmas, we all have different Christmas stories, hilarious Christmas stories. Uh, well, and rarely sad Christmas stories, but we can have a certain resonance to this particular play, right? I think so, you know, <clears throat> because like, you know, there are different aspects of the of comedy that we cover in yes. terms of the storyline. Right. You know what I mean? So all the characters are very, very different from each other and everyone brings their own personality and their own little story to this one Christmas story. And I think that's where the comedy lies and the fun of the story, you know, um, so you know, you have different, it's multi It's multi generational as well. Yes. So you have the younger people as opposed to the older people, older traditions as opposed to younger traditions. You know, one of the characters says that they're having a, a, um, a Muslim, Jew, gay, um, 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 you know, just everybody together kind of mm, Christmas, mm, mm. the people that don't belong. You know, so there's mm, that mm. kind of Christmas being had somewhere else. You know, so sure. I think that everybody brings their story, everybody brings the experience of Christmas. This is a very traditional Christmas, which mm -hmm. is kind of, you know, old school or older generation. Mm -hmm. And the younger people want to see more of what is new and what is young. How yeah. we can change yeah. Christmas yeah. to suit a, a Gauteng heat you know, <laughs> making roast duck and roast uh, turkey mm -hmm. in the in the middle of a of a of a heat wave. You know, <laughs> and seven colours. Don't forget seven colours. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. And I think yeah. Ilse is right. You'll recognise yourself there. You're going to see. Oh, that's what I think. Oh, yes, that's me. So you'll see yourself. So it's 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 across the board. It's going to appeal to everybody. I want to see this. I definitely want to see this. Share yeah. more details. Okay, so we're on at the Market Theatre on the main stage, the John Carney stage. Uh -huh. uh, first preview, 29th, 29th of November. Of November okay. to the t and, and we end on the 24th of December. So we have Great shows stuff. from um, Wednesday through to Sunday. On a ma we have a Sunday matinee. And on a Saturday, okay. we'll have a matinee and an evening show. And the rest of the time, we start at 7 p.m. Great stuff. It sounds Great like stuff. a long run. It's not a long run. Yeah. So mm. if they want tickets, they must go and book now because it's actually quite a short run. Yeah. All right. Ladies, love chatting to you. I'll definitely will be there. And uh, just look out for that uh, voice that'll be screaming at the back of the theater. Yay! <laughs> that'll be me. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Thank All right. You. Those were actors Judy Ditchfield and Elsa Klink, who are part of the stellar cast of a comedy theater play, Mer uh, well, Merry Little Christmas, which will be showing at the Market Theater from next week.